I'm going to let that settle in for a bit. We're going to do a weigh-in. Hi, adorable kitten. You will notice that the babies are responding to me, to the sound of my voice. Where are you going, Tux? So I just put some revolution on Mama, one of the few. Oh, my goodness, Sprinkles has an eyeball. We'll let us see that in a second. Happy Jeff, 11 and a quarter. Um, revolution is one of the few things that's safe to give a pregnant or nursing mama. Look at the eyeball. That just happened. Just happened. Oh, Springy's wings. 12 and 5 eighths. <laughs> I'm gonna be lucky if Mama doesn't break the gate down. Um, I have to keep her away from the babies for a little bit, just um, because we don't want it getting on the babies, per se. Oh, it's a little bell. Eleven and a quarter. That's the same as yesterday. Let's see what Mal's eyes are taking, Mr. B. Still a little winky. Little winker. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. So darling. Uh this one. Eleven and three quarters for Praline. Sneaky Sphinx. Spinky Sphinx. They're probably hungry. Eleven and an eighth for Snickerdoodles. And still no eyeballs for Snickerdoodles. He's slow. Uh, who else? Pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins is our last one. Punky Punks has one eye, so his will pop open any moment. Mommy just came to check us out and then went back to the food. Eleven and an eighth. Hi, little traps. Little traps. So the oranges are the same again. Not as big of gains today. Maybe because I weighed them later, I think yesterday, or because she was just starting to nurse after being out for a little bit, but no big deal. Everyone's very healthy, doing fine. Looking so handsome with their eyeballs, their new eyeballs. Poor sneaky snakes, though. 
No eyeballs for sneaky snakes. I guess I should turn up the volume. So I will keep mummy out there for a bit, despite these active squawking kittens. Look at them, they're playing. Mommy's coming to see what the jingle is. Sneaky snakes. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Don't jump. Don't jump. You want a treat? You want a treat? She's good. Stream's having issues today. Sorry about that. I have noticed that. Quite the issues. Oh my goodness, who's so active? Yeah, I know it's you with your fancy new eyeballs. Your special eyeballs. Oh, look at that. Want some more, Mama? More treats through the gate. Punky punks. It's going to be fun to see how Truffle and Val's color develops because they've got those stripes. So cute. Right now, everyone is grouped by color. Tabbies, oranges, and bricks. So cute. The oranges are the last to open their eyes. Oh, did I see a little bit of eyeball? No, nope, that was pumpkin. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Val. You're so handsome. <laughs> they are just itching to get out of the nest. You want some more, Mama? Distracting her with treats. Get that adorable little kitty. <laughs> These are some very noisy kittens. Very squawky. Trappy traps. Hey, trap. So cute. Oh, these are adorable. They're so cute. What the adorable kittens. Cute. Are you done already? 
Adorable. I've never had a batch of kittens that has uh, opened just one eye from like days at a time. Very special. So slow. First they were advanced and then they oh hi, hi trucks. Hi. Um. Oops. Lots of playing going on. I don't remember there being so much um, playing this early. But I always forget, I guess, because we grow up so fast. Right? Oh, you're so cute. Little truffle. Do I smell funny? Mommy's back at her bowl now. The pumpkin stepping on moose. Thank you. Pumpkins on Moose's face. <laughs> now she's trying to bury her food. Oh, trucks, you're so cute. Squeaking. Mummy is eating currently in the office, uh, but I just gave her her revolution, uh, which is one of the few safe things we can give to pregnant or nursing moms. Uh, it's for fleas and ear mites and helps with worms. Um, so I'm going to keep her separate from the kittens for a little bit so that uh, she doesn't come in and get it on them. It'll soak in quickly and then all will be well. And then when Dr. Ferguson comes this week, the babies will get their first round of deworming. Won't that be exciting, babies? And then she'll look in your mouth and she'll Listen to your hearts. Hey, Mama, do you want some of this? Ooh. Just making noise with my laptop, you know. That's what we do. Uh, she does not have ear mites. Um, 
but uh, almost certainly has round worm and all that stuff. Um, and also we just want to make sure that uh, she's treated for fleas and all, all of those things. Um, we try to reduce any, there you go, mama. reduce any possibility for parasites. Um, oh, I just gave her the catnip cupcake. Um, because as you saw with the jungle kittens, um, all of these diseases and parasites are opportunistic. So once they get one, it makes them a lot more susceptible to more. Um, and all kittens are born with roundworm and, and the usual parasites, which, which aren't that big of a deal, but we definitely want to treat them, um, for all that stuff, um, as effectively as possible. And that includes mama. So the, okay, so the cupcake fundraising, I, uh, a few people have asked questions about that. Um, it, it seems, it looks like you're donating to the Ontario SPCA, um, and that's where the money is going, but then they know who's, what team in what shelter you're donating it for. So as long as, um, if you're donating through Tiny Cupcakes, uh, or if you've created your own team, um, and selected laps, uh, as your shelter, then it, the money will get filtered back to them once the, once cupcake day is over. It is confusing though. Um, and thank you to everybody who is participating and who has already donated. I hope you guys got a chance to order the, um, adorable, uh, sock kittens that Carol M made um, or the cupcakes. She's the one who made the adorable um, sock kittens for the jungle kittens and then she also made the Jane Cobb hats for the firefly kittens so she's quite creative and talented and um, generous. But she sold out within a couple of hours because they're so cute. I wanted to order some, but uh, she couldn't ship them to the Canada. Oh, Snoopy Quick. Mommy wants to come back in and see you. It's okay, Mama. I know. Um, okay, you can come in, but we just won't have her in the nest. You can come in, but we just won't have her in the nest. There you go. Um, here, I have to, I can't use this unless you want. I know. Hi. You can look at your babies, but let's not go in the nest just yet, okay? Yeah. Um. Here, play with your catnip cupcake. She loves the catnip cupcake. These are the ones from uh, that Pat ordered from Dana. <laughs> the pictures of the of the one-eyed kittens are funny. Hi, Mama. Oh my goodness. Free for all. Oh, no. Oh, no. We just had a kitten little board. Here we go. I'll help you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm going to see. I'm going to observe. And uh, she looks like she's pretty... Uh, Pretty absorbed there, but Ooh, we've got some purrs. Got some kitten purrs. Oh, we do not want to look at the floor anymore. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Oops. 
Bueno, ¿qué mamá? Lots of purring happening right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're so hungry. Hi, Mama. I think this is, so it's been a couple days where, since she started letting me pet her in the nest, which is pretty amazing progress, considering where we started, considering where we were 13 days ago. Right, Mama? We've become quite good friends. Very nice. Uh oh, pumpkin's not plugged in. So probably if I weighed them afterwards, they would have a little bit of a gain to show, a little more of a gain. But they all had gains except I think Val was even. Trail cams have shipped, and I'm hoping that I will get them tomorrow or Wednesday. Since it's a holiday, I don't know how that works. It's a Canadian holiday. I guess it's just a provincial holiday, so I should probably learn this stuff at some point since I'm now living here in the Canada. Um, but uh, I... I think the mail is actually running today, so um, hopefully it will be set up uh, sometime Wednesday. We did run into um, a woman who works at the, the business uh, of the man who brought in the jungle kittens, and she was not terribly impressed that we were there. Um, so we're hoping that she doesn't, you know, get us booted out of there because she was not very impressed. Definitely not a cat lover. Um, but we'll just keep trying, do the best we can. And um, if we aren't able to monitor at that particular site anymore. Um, we can probably find another location. So, um, we'll just keep trying and hoping. What's happening to Auntie CF? She makes a good footrest. Ah, 
The other thing is that there are rat traps all over the place. And so I don't know if, if she didn't want us catching the cats because they help with the rats. Um, and But it's potentially, I don't know if the cats know not to eat the poisoned rats because they're the traps where the rats go in and eat it and then take it back to their um, nest. So I don't know. It's not a great area for cats, but, um, and they also said there are a lot of coyotes back there. So, I don't know. We're just, we'll be hoping, the be hoping for the best. Um, but still, still as many unknowns as there were yesterday and the day before and the day before. Hopefully once we get the trail cam set up, that will answer some questions, and then we can at least, um, you know, if we monitor for a week and we don't see anything, then um, we can move along and be more confident that we're not leaving anyone behind. Oh, look at that little face. Look at that little face. Hi. They're definitely responding to my voice, and they do look right at me. Even though their eyesight and their hearing is not great at this stage, I can tell that it is starting to develop. This is Val. Sprinkles. Truffle is a pillow right now. I have to get a picture of that because that's really cute. The problem is my butt is holding the baby gate up right now. And if I try to move it, it's going to make a noise. And then everyone's going to move. Oh, gosh. There, I think I got it. Oh, mommy. You're so pretty. Sugar Plum loves the catnip cupcakes. Um, gets into it. Don't you, Mama? Don't you, pretty Mama? What a pretty Mama. Oh, Val. These guys are not... Val is not going to have any luck at that end of town. Hey, buddy. Let me help. If Mommy lets me do this, it would be... She's kind of like, hey... That was nice, though, because that wasn't... There were no claws out. No claws. Just a gentle paw on my arm saying, it's weird that you're picking my baby up while he's eating. I'm just trying to help him find a nipple. I think it's possible one of her front nipples is not, uh, has not been used, so is not producing milk. It looks like it's fairly small. Um, so that could be part of the issue with everybody not being able to be on at the same time, really. Oh, pumpkin. There's trouble getting in there. Pumpkin, where are you going? Oh, pumpkin. Hi. Hey, buddy. You're so cute. Oh, what a little dog. Her hugging her baby. So sweet. If Val can't find a spot at the milk bar, at least he can get a hug from mama, from his mom.
so so frustrated. Okay. Oh, poor frustrated babies. Her little printing just came off on her own. She's like, it's not worth it. Get in there, pumpkin. Val, where are you going? <laughs> there, pumpkin's on now. Oh, Snicky Snicks just got done. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick Val in there because he didn't get any. Sometimes I like to micromanage nursing time. Only because Val didn't have a game since yesterday. I like when all, I like all my babies to be fat. Right, Mama? Look at him go. He's so excited. <laughs> Not that they're uh, struggling in the fatness department by any stretch. So let's see, for the weights, uh, biggest is sprinkles, 12 and 5 eighths ounces, and smallest is uh, snickerdoodle and pumpkin tied at 11 and an eighth. Um, praline and sprinkles are the biggest. And truffle and bal are tied. They're all all of the the color groupings are um, having consistent uh, growth. I wonder if Sneaky Snake get, gained weight after his meal. Little mummy worry if I steal a kitten. Eleven and a quarter. It's like it never happened. Oh, yeah, see, he went up an eighth of an ounce, Snickerdoodle did. So he's 11 and a quarter now. One of the babies is purring. <laughs> okay, Mama. Okay, I leave the babies alone. Again, though, that was nice. That was no claws out. That was just a, like, stop stop getting up in my business right now. Like, I got this under control. That's what that was. Which is totally true. Totally true, Mama. You do. You have things well in hand. All right. I'm going to leave her to it. Such a good Mama. What a good Mama. Oh, making some cupcake biscuits. All right. Yeah, I know. It's a good mama. Such a good mama. All right. We've got plenty of food. All sorts of things. You don't have to get up. Huh? Do you want this? Snickers doodles trying to nurse on the bowl right now. What a good mama. Someone, one of the kittens is purring again. So cute. Such a good mama. Oh, earlock. I think sometimes earlock happens when the milk runs out. Right? Okay. I'm gonna go. Oh.
but I will be back. Okay, everybody, I will check in again later. Thank you, Mama.